Uh -huh. And was the most important uh, for one year. Then I realized <laughs> that she was very, very tricky, unfaithful. Unfaithful. Oh. You had to know? No, but it's very good. Can I ask you about? There's other licenses on this mm. giant butt. <laughs> you know, this is made from beautiful. nature. You wouldn't believe it. Really? She, she war, but I'm not sure that. In Wien, gibt es ein Karussell, das heißt die Drachenbahn. Mm -hmm. It's a carousel that's called the Dragon Train. Die Bahn, yeah. 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 And she was the. Uh, the amusement park. Oh, wie sagt man da? She was the, the she was the officer in She was the watcher, or she was yeah, the guardian, yeah. or the person who took that's care right, of that. Yeah. Right. Uh, that's right. She got this ass in that, <laughs> and also these legs. You know, oh it's my unbelievable. God. She looked like a Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and she had a wonderful. Heart, very good heart. You would have to have a good heart. That's a nice That's a good color. Oh, that's uh, pastel and. Just yeah. the, again, the again, this glowing paint. Okay, cool. This is done with this. Okay. Wow. And if you do it with the casino with the tempera, then you can paint over it again. Okay. Yeah. Glaze it, right? Great. Right. That's funny. I still have never used it, and I will now. Yeah. We can. That's how you did this one too, right? This is awesome. With this. Okay. And this is on paper. This is, they're all different pieces of paper. It started exactly with that little piece here. Mm. And then you just kept adding to it. Yeah. If I would have known what a big painting it would have been, <laughs> I would have given it up. Yeah, you would have given it up. That's a really good, that's a really good time. This is a painting I'd like to have back, but I don't know where it is. This painting is amazing. This painting was is a painting that is transcends anything. It's like this alien. What what's going on here? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it definitely is very nice. It's one of the most beautiful. The colors, the greens back here. Yeah, well. This one, remember I painted this one? You have to re restore it, you remember? Yeah. And you know what? I don't know if I ever told you this. It was the first time we ever talked on the phone together, and you asked me to do it in watercolor. And I hadn't painted in watercolor since I was in kindergarten. <laughs> and I told you, but you didn't know that. I told you, no problem, I can do it. <laughs> and then I went and I bought some watercolor and some fruit and practiced. <laughs> you see what a brat she was. <laughs> she winged it, man. She, she pulled it off. But I did, I pulled it off. <laughs> but you know, this is absolutely unique. It's done with that fine brush that I always use on parchment. On parchment. Didn't something happen to these paintings? They were destroyed by a lunatic yeah. who <laughs> even wanted to set fire on it. Yeah. And then the chaplain came and stopped him. Yeah. You know? He was crazy, you know. He thought this all is full of signs of the Freemasons. Who cares about the Freemasons? Don't give a shit for that. Because I'm not a Freemason, so why should I paint Freemasons? <laughs> uh. And did they get restored? Where are they now? Yeah, well, badly. But, well, I don't even today really try to look at them. Because this is a beautiful one. Yeah, that's gorgeous. It's yeah. just one color on gold leaf and added another one. 
One color and gold leaf. Wow. See, you could just leave your piece. Right. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I think. Great yeah. idea. <laughs> Let's get on the next one. Who is that? Detail. Who is this? This Mary? is Mary. Saint Mary with that. the Jesus child. Yeah. That's gorgeous. I like that. Like the unfinishedness of it. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's just not unfinished. <laughs> it's an iconic. She or <coughs> he, the child of God, you know, she is both. She is a child of God and a child of man. And so she has also earth in it. Whereas he is purely heavenly. There's no earthy elements in it. And so on and so on. You know. like, can you imagine this painting in original is about that big? Yeah, that's like really? this big, really. Oh my god. And still, you know, you can read because this is an enlargement. Everything that is written here in Hebrew and in Latin and in Greek. Yeah. Do you remember? Do you know what's written and there? This is the angel, all done in egg temple. Oh. Wow. By glazed with oil, yeah? yeah? Of course, okay. yes, yes, yes. But the other painting, well, it's always my technique, except if it's a watercolor. It's all my technique, you know. Oh, but good. at the Bildenet, was it no. Max Dörner, an assistant or a student of Max Dörner, that was at the at the academy in Vienna? Yes. That that sh that showed you the mixed technique. No, uh, Professor Pauser. Pauser. When, okay, yeah. that's when one. I when he saw what I do with this technique, he uh, asked uh, an in Kriegsversehrten. Er hatte nur ein Bein. Ja, ein Veteran. Sein Name war Vogel. Vogel. To, to learn this technique from me and to pass it then to the others. And that's what he did. Very well. Did you go and study the Bosch painting? Yes, of course. That was at the Academy in London. This was my teacher. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But look, <laughs> as if I have a... I knew uh, at that time, you know, yes. uh, how the alien will visit this planet. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Did you think the aliens would come? Huh? Did you think the aliens would come? That's why you were saying they are already. <laughs> they are coming. Yes, they are coming. They are always around. Tell me about it. <laughs> you never even know because they look like us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here for a long time. An alien, I never met him in person. No, no. that you know of. But you've seen a UFO, that might be one. <laughs> we all might. You just wouldn't know. <laughs> but you've seen UFOs. You've seen UFOs. Huh? UFOs. You've seen the yes. UFOs. Oh, yes, I've yeah. seen many. I know that there are. I haven't seen that for a long time. Because it is owned by a Viennese collector and he, he keeps it veiled and I could come and see it. But you know it's pretty complicated. And this is I remember, this is um, not egg templar, this is this one. Did you make it? No. Got it, it, at that time, you got it in a tube. I have really good casting from America, the like Shiva. Uh -huh. It's so much better than the Plaka. Uh -huh. Plaka is... Oh, you see, 
how I paint a portrait. I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> this is a portrait of looks like this Michael. Is, Good to know. This <laughs> is your father. Millicent, he said, what's his name? Millicent. Oh, I, like, it reminds me of the portrait you did of your father. It makes me think of Michael. Which is funny. Yeah, well, <laughs> but he wasn't Jewish a little bit, nothing at all. Mm. He was a real Yeke. We call him Yeke. And this looks like one of the braids of Dali, mm -hmm. which I didn't know then that he did such braids, you know. This is a really tiny painting. Right? It's like this big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this an early one? It's yeah, it's in my collection. Mm. This one too. Yeah. This is a watercolor, right? Yeah. <laughs> Done without a, a drop of white. So this is all paper white. Mm -hmm. Paper white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this, this dragon. The one who did the first version of it <laughs> was a friend of the uh, city by me that wohnt, the the ja seit dem fürchterlichen Unfall hatte die. Ja, so die wir Nancy, nein, nein, nein. Nancy. Nancy. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, uh, This I still own. It's in my collection. You did that when you were 19, huh? Yeah. Self-portrait at that age. You look a lot like Moritz. Yeah. He looks a lot like you. And this painting was recently stolen. This reminds me, there's aspects of it that remind me a lot of Max Ernst. Mm. Or? Max Ernst? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I, I Cert had Certain that. things. Max Ernst. Yeah, the structure. Did you know him? Oh yes, I know him personally. But he, uh, I met him in, in uh, at the market in Rue de Rue. And, uh, he made a, a mention to a, he mentioned to a colleague. He is one of the fine brush workers. So. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, about you? Yeah. He didn't uh, like fine work at that time. Yeah. He was into the structures, you know. Uh, into the uh, more abstract forms of the, yeah, of the organic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you have seen this no? in the book. In the book, yeah. yeah. I notice you you always like um like with that tool you love like creating textures or with hatching lines like 
so that it dances, right? So that it has vibrance. It's never like completely smooth. You, you yes. find that more boring. Yeah, it's better to have some something going on. Well, this was influenced by Lehmden. He painted a tower, a, a tower like this, but this is not in the book. This guy, I think, this was my first painting in Mish technique. Just try. And who was who was so it was Pauser that they said that was later. That was later. Much but later. who was the other name of the veteran? Which was the war veteran? Fulber. Fulber. Is that two pages? No. This is Lawrence's book, right? Yeah. So you see, I always sort of was working in the sense of the white height the name, even in doing it wrong. Mm, that's always the way you think. Well, you see, this was also, I think, my first oil painting. It was done with such bad materials, look, it all cracked. It was then restored, and very well, you can see any of the cracks, nothing. It, it took a long time to restore it. And this is just, this is the micro. It's the gesso. Yeah, right? Gesso brown, gesso brown, gesso brown. So you just painted really thinly. Huh? Yeah. And this was, I think, uh, in first time using a tempera build up. Mm. And you read it about it in the book. Yeah, I got it from Dern. From Max Dern, yeah. And this is a drawing I did at Schloss Leopoldsgrohe and they had only a paper for hectographic messages. And these are actually four pieces of hectographic paper. Uh, there was nothing else. I know some of the ones you did on line paper. You know, you started on line paper for writing. You start yeah. drawing and then you just kept making it bigger and bigger like that tree. Tree of Life. Was it the Tree of Life or the, that big tree with the zodiac? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's got all the lines in it from the lined paper. Yeah, You're only 15 or something. Huh? <coughs> that was my vision of architecture. How it will be in the 20th century. But it was done in 1946. Yeah, and this one, tell us about this one. Yeah, well, that's what I imagined. Um, what I would look like when I'm on the wall. It's pretty accurate. <laughs> so. That I was my first oil painting. Yes, this one. And this one's in the villa. Mm -hmm. And it was painted on... On a... On a on a billboard, a billboard, right? For a for a, 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 a storefront, a storefront sign. What's a billboard? Yeah, a billboard is a sign for a shop. Right? It's heavy. Oh. <laughs> it's thick, old, and good Steinwände. And I went into the night and. And you stopped, you went and took it. <laughs> the building behind was already burnt out. 
This was right after this the war. This was the only thing that survived the fire. Wow. That was right after the war, right? Yes. 1946. And didn't that painting get you into the academy? Oh, no. You were already in the academy? No, no, no. It was long before I... The academy... I went to... I think I was... My mother always came to, to Park Gütersloh and said, does she learn well? Is she good? Does she come every time to school? And he looked at her and said, Nidige Frau. Er lernt nicht mehr. Wir lernen alle von ihm. Oh, he's saying he's not learning anymore. We're all learning from him. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. Look, that's visionary, apocalyptic, and done in 46. I like that one. 45. Or 45 even. Amazing perspective. Living the earth, you know. Uh-huh. And all its modern architecture. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, I was as born I was born a visionary painter. The three apocalyptic horsemen. That's a self-portrait of this period. Yeah. Just ink on paper. That was a very melancholic, Saturnic inspired person. There. And my my professor, you know, that was my first year at the academy. He said, "Are you a Jew?" I said, "No." Well, why do you sign with that star of the Jews? So, I, I say, uh, I didn't know what to say. I said, well, I like it. So, he, he, he left it at that. <laughs> Later on, when he saw my fine work, he sat down and looked at it. Smoking his cigar, long time. And then he got up and said, There was hot that David Lloyd. So the type of guy, so the devil made that. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Well, that's my first teacher, Michelangelo. Yeah. Modeling. Yeah. And my professor, Anderson. <laughs> he always called me, no, Michelangelo. <laughs> so, sort of, because I didn't follow his teaching at all, but he liked me in spite of it. <laughs> it's very hard to you know, but it's just done before I was 15. On cardboard, just as this one well, that's Eva, my first wife, at the time, in the first year of our marriage. But I was so Catholic, she could not. You took this one seriously, and then she was the one that went up. And, and For one year, she tried. I must say, she really tried hard. Uh, it wasn't bad. That's you with Dali. Yeah. Yeah. Hotel Meurice. <laughs> Did he watch you paint? Yes, he went up to my chambre du bon. All these stairs, you know, it was a very, very high climbing, you know. And he sat there and he looked at me. And after the third time he was coming up to watch me, he said, I'm 
Unfortunately, this is not my way. This is not my way. And he added, if, it, if I cannot finish a painting in three days, I write to it, I'm complete. <laughs> <laughs> well, but then Picasso said the painting's only finished when it's sold. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you know, such a <laughs> I mean, I think it's like if it if, if it stays with you, then I mean, for paintings that I don't sell, I think I was a pretty be. man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Still are. <laughs> <laughs> no, because uh, I always thought the girls were looking at other men, not at me. Is that Eva again? No, this is, uh, no? uh, what do you call her? Um, George Sand. Ah, this is ben. George Sand, the poet. That was uh, with Chopin. That, uh, mm -hmm. Feeding him, him opium, you know. <laughs> yeah, he, don't, he didn't know that it was opium. He took what she, what she gave to him, you know, yeah. and she said you have to take it because uh, otherwise you cannot have the energy that you need to note, to write all these notes, you know. It's written music, it's not improvised. Wow. Mm -hmm. Opium has a subtle form. Mm -hmm. I only once took it, but injected into muscular, that's what it was. Yeah. It put me asleep immediately and I don't like to sleep, I want to work. This is where Nassim Brion was a brilliant man. I still don't understand what you wrote. Do you think you could sign this for Lawrence? This yes, of Lawrence's course. book, and I know he wouldn't ask it, but I know he'd really appreciate it. And that's the only thing you like? I for Lawrence. Two. Two Lawrence. <laughs> 